I'd say hello, but you're obviously anxious to start. Our survival demands a new empire. Hi everybody, I hope today's been a good one so far. My name's Yao Chi and welcome to something a little bit special for today's video. A brand new mod by a modder named Last Jawa. Three things about this mod before we start. I am a little bit late with this one, it's been doing the rounds for about a week now. Secondly, it is still available, not on Last Jawa's Twitter account, but it is in the description as release of this video available on the Google Drive. And thirdly, you're going to want to go and get it. There's a lot of labor of love gone into this. The models have been taken from Battlefront 2. And to be fair, if you like a bit of Mugen and the old school Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, you're going to really dig this one. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so the simples first, the options, and it is simple, literally music and sound effects and a difficulty level which goes up to ridiculously impossible and it is to be fair um most controls is usable with an xbox controller it is usable with two and they're set up before the game loads so the four main areas path of the force will come back to that we'll go into the versus mode but for player versus player two controllers usable and a cpu with a plethora or a decent amount it's fair to say of characters to choose from from all areas of star wars pretty impressive along with the likes of Malgus and Satil Shan, pretty damn sweet. Um, also, the areas that are choosable. We've also got the second sister. This is a nice little addition. And then the areas to choose from are phenomenal. Mustafa, Malakor, Scarif, and they all look really fantastic. Dagobah, no less. A classic carbon freeze chamber. Throne rooms. Starkiller Forest, the second throne room, absolutely crazy with crate and absolute piece of resistance. And this is why I like this mod so much. This is so much time and effort in, gone into it. The Death Star wreckage from the latest Star Wars movie. So there is what's supposed to be an online version, but I have to be perfectly honest, I don't think there's any servers available for it. I think you're looking at sort of local networking or if you've got your mate's IP address, you might be able to hook up on that. I've certainly tried to join games and there you go, you need somebody's IP address. There may be one online at a later date, but as far as I'm aware at the minute, there isn't anything to use so far. Thirdly, and I'm saving the best tool last, we'll go into the training mode. It's kind of rudimentary, uh, pick your characters as you would imagine and you can sort of practice out your moves um, trying to work out your specials. There are some specials for some characters, there aren't specials for all characters but there is a lot of add-ons and additions coming in each version of this mod. It's a little bit strange that the link's been taken out um, from the Twitter account but it's still available on a Google Drive. But we can only hope that it's going to keep getting updated. So as you can see so far, there is only custom moves for four characters. Skywalker, Vader, Ray and Ren. But some pretty cool ones and I wouldn't mind taking a little bit of time to try and work them out. Especially things like the Force Freeze from Ren. And also you've got the uh, Force Lift from Vader. Pretty damn cool. And a spinning Sabre Rush, which I have used quite a few times in the Force Push from Skywalker. Pretty impressive again from just one guy that's put this mod together. So I generally am really, really impressed with this mod. The fact that all the models come from Battlefront 2 and the likes of new Star Wars games really impressed me, especially the player versus player and the player versus CPU. But I've saved the piece of resistance for the last. It's basically Path of the Force and if you like a bit of Mugen, old school Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, you're gonna get a real kick out of this. It's basically a survival mode or a keep going mode and the beauty of it is it actually unlocks characters uh, so far you can unlock Leia Organa um, with an alternate slave girl she comes in a Bosque outfit but you can get the alternate slave girl outfit and you can also unlock Mara Jade which also comes with a cape version really really impressive I'm not too sure there's not too much description on how unlocking the characters work 
Uh, it would be nice if it was just five opponents to unlock something and something for each one. But so far, because it's so tough, I can't even beat the first five opponents. Okay, enough about the mod. Let's get it stuck into something tasty and a little bit of a battle. Now, I recorded this earlier, and this isn't available at the minute, because as you can see, the versus mode only includes these characters. But what I had on the survival mode was Luke versus the one and only Bosk, Leia, or Garner with yellow lightsaber. So I'm going to play this one out. Do yourselves a favor, go and get this mod. Fingers crossed it keeps getting updated. It is pretty damn sick. Enjoy it, enjoy the video. Hit me in the comments. Have a great day. Take it easy. And bye for now. I'll destroy you if I have to. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. Round one. Fight. There's been an awakening. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
not round two fight <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 